Brady. Nick Lopez wins the championship at 215 pounds with a win in the last couple of seconds. Nick, where did you find that last second strength? Uh, found it from the beginning, I guess. Uh, going against Greg, I knew with his uh, ankle that he'd be out of shape. And I knew if I paced myself and just went for it all at the end. I can throw it out. Now you were a place winner here last year, but you come back this year and take the championship. What does that mean to you and your school? Uh, it means a hell of a lot to me. Uh, I owe it all to my, to my dad, sits behind me, pushes me every day, and I uh, owe a great deal to it to my last year's coach, Ralph Ross Jr., Jake McBride, and these coaches, they, they push me in the practice room and uh, as well on uh, out of the room in school too, so I owe it to a lot of people. We talked about dreams earlier today, and dreams do come true. Place winner last year, but today the top rung on the ladder belongs to Nick Lopez. Congratulations. Mick, back to you. All right. Thank you very much, Mark Rossman. Now we take a look at the way Lopez was able to pick up the takedown and the victory. And it looks like Sawyer missed on the shot, Rick. Yep. He knows he's got to take a shot, but it's here for stalling. Takes a shot, but his head and back is down. Lopez is able to spin on him. Just clears the arm, picks up a two-point takedown that decides the match for him. So once again, your state champ here at 215 pounds is Nick Lopez. He finishes his year 33-0 from Washington Township. So with that behind us, we move to our final matchup of the day as we have our heavyweights coming up before us. Roy Atia, 29 and 2 from Bailey Ellard, will take on Antonio Garay, a perfect 33 and 0 from Rawway. And Garay is a pinning machine. He has a pin this year, came in the three quarters in six, count them six seconds. That's hard to do. Wow. And the way I understand it, our producer, Stan Ritter, tells me that he hasn't gone a full six minutes this year, correct? So will he go six minutes? We'll see. We'll find out. Well, this went. So Gray has had his way, if you will, and uh, he has played to attend Boston College. The two-time state place winner came in with a mark to realize 116 and 12. And this is a rematch of the Region 3 final that Ray won. And already the injury time will roll for Roy Atia from Bailey Ellis. He was a place winner back here in 1996 at 215 when he finished in that seventh eighth place spot. But Gray is the man to be. He's looking to become Rawway's first state champ since 1965. That's when his uncle Willie hey, that, that was a state champ. Oh, wow. yeah. Keep it in the family. Get a good look at his back. Wide back. Well, the weight limit is 275. And I have to say that this young man from Rawway is definitely a heavyweight. The headgear is gentle. He's waiting for his opponent, Roy Atea, to come out. But since we have a break, let's take one now as well. We'll come back to Atlantic City in just a moment. Ten seconds. One minute and 30 to wrestle here in his first period at 275, or heavyweight, if you will. And those four in on a deep shot is Roy Atea from Bailey Ellard. But Gray works upper body, and oh, here's a throw the other way. Headlock by Atea. Picks up a takedown. Atia leads by a score of 2 0. And Roy Atia has picked up three falls en route to the final. His semifinal fall came in just a minute six. I uh, wouldn't count him out either. You gotta wonder if this match will go the distance. Two pinners out there. You know, so many times heavyweights want to lock up and throw and it takes them a while to get there, but when Roy Atea got the headlock working, it was almost fatal. Two nothing Atea on top. The guy right comes to his feet. He tried to feel the hand. A stall warning on Atea. Not attempting to bring his opponent to the mat. 
see the coaching staff kind of tell him just to let him out. Mathia will go optional start. He wasn't able to bring DeRay back to the mat. That's why he picked up the stall warning. And now there's the escape. The score is 2-1. DeRay in on a double. But he can't make it stick. They go off the mat. Two one the score. Let's see him lock it up high. Now gives it up on that. Garay working a Russian tie. Steps behind to his leg. Now gets a double leg and picks up a takedown. Overshoots the half Nelson. Matia rolls to his stomach. And Garay leads by a score of 3 2. Matia almost got out, but now gets trapped. And the two count will be back points against him. Back points for Garay. He picks up two more. Now he leads it by a score of 5 2. And Garay just pulled him to his back. And those back points come with three seconds on the clock. It's got to be the coaching staff right here. First period's going to wind out with Antonio Garay of Rawway leading by a score of 5 2 against Roy Atia from Bailey Ellard. Atia will start the second period from the defensive position. Let's see what Antonio Garay can do from the top. All the way back to the ankle. Comes across base. He's able to hit in that front arm, but still somehow Atia comes out. So with the escape, it's now 5-3. to three. Garay leading Atia from Bailey Ellard. Atia tries the headlock. It slips by Garay, and he drifts Atia to the mat. He'll make the score seven of three. And Matia knew that he missed. Oh, here comes a finish combination from Garay. Garay applying the body press. And there's the fall with 125 to wrestle here in this second period. Our third pin of the day. Antonio de Garay comes up with a fall as he is the state champ and heavyweight, runs his record to 34 and 0 on the season. So Garay came in as the man to beat, and for the second time, Rawway has the state champ. His uncle Louie won it back in 1955, and now the nephew, Antonio Garay, is a state champ. Two minutes and 35 seconds, the time of the fall for Antonio Garay. Congratulations all around, and we'll be talking with that young man in just a moment as Mark Rothman gets set for our post-match interviews, and we've had a chance to talk to virtually every champion here today. It's been an uh, outstanding day of wrestling. Three falls, and yet Rich Santoro, most of our matches went right down to the final second, just like we thought they would. Yeah, not, not unusual. Here you have the cream of the crop. Everyone's going for their state title. Guys are line or matched up very very closely and we had a great show today so once again antonio de gray the state champ of heavyweight let's go to mark rock we're here with antonio gray antonio great job winning that heavyweight title you caught him with the pin what was the move man i don't even know i was just out there to wrestle my coach told me don't think about what i'm doing just go out there and do what i always do and the pin just came i just wrestled he came out there ready to beat me and i just wrestled my match and it just happened that I pinned him. Well, you've been here before, but this is your first title. How does it feel to get to number one? It feels great. Cause I just relaxed this year. I, I got nervous a couple of times. Roy had me scared a little bit in the beginning. I just, I just been training hard, and I'm just glad I'm at, I'm took first this year. Well, you hung with it, and that perseverance paid off because you had enough left at the end to come back and get the pin. Yeah. Well. I guess you learn from your mistakes, because last year I got thrown, put to my back, I got out, and I ended up getting disqualified. And today I just kept my composure and just kept wrestling. A memorable victory for Antonio Garay of Rahway, the 14th and final of our state champions today. There were a lot of dreams here, a lot of emotions on the mat, from the smallest to the biggest. They'll remember this day in Atlantic City. Mick, back to you. We'll be back.
back to recap our champions as we continue in our coverage here in Atlantic City in just a moment.